Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly or the wicked, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall abide like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruits in his season. His leaf also shall not wither or fade, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures of tender grass. He leadeth me beside the still waters of quietness. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me and approached against me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war, though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold in the beauty of the Lord, the delight of the Lord, to behold the delight and the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secrets of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies, round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yeah, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Sacrifices of joy and shouting. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave my soul. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up and gather me. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path, a way of plainness, because of mine enemies, those which observe me. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, that he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord, and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land. 
and verily thou shalt be fed in truth and stableness. Delight thyself also in the Lord, that he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way, and commit and roll thy way unto the Lord, unto and upon the Lord. Trust also in him, that he shall bring it to pass, that he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off, but those who but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yeah, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation, the upright of way. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat and preciousness of lambs. They shall consume into smoke. Into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth, and payeth not again. But the righteous sheweth mercy, and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth. And they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way, ordered and established by the Lord. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lendeth, and his seed is blessed all the day. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps or goings shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hands, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yeah, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. 
but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in a time of trouble. And if the Lord shall help them and deliver them, he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them, because they trust in him. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow, and shall abide and lodge under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings thou shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only will thine hand only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Therefore shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Joyful noise of praise and thanksgiving, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations.